For today's project, we are going to see how to add a brain to a dumb garage door opener with Home Assistant, ESP Home, and less than 20 bucks. Let's start. Hey everyone, this is Alex Reed. So the goal for this project today is basically to be able to control my garage door with Home Assistant. Uh, with real little kids that always want something else from the garage or leave the, the door open, I want to be able to control it with Home Assistant, Alexa, my watch, or anything. And I also want to be able to monitor if someone left the, the door open or something like that. So for this project, I have few success conditions. First, I want to be able to control the garage door. So open it, close it, or stop it if I need it. Second, I want to know the current state of the door. Is it closed or open? Third, I want to know the current operation. Is it currently opening or closing? And the last one is probably one of the most important is I want to know if the door is jammed. So is it blocked by a toy, by someone, by something? I want to, if it does, I want to get a push notification on my cell phone with maybe a picture of the security camera. So let's see how to do this step by step. So for this project, you will need an ESP based device. On my side, I will be using the Node MCU mostly because it has some spare IOs that I will be able to use to add more device later. Then you will also need a five volt relay block, a five volt power supply, you will also need a magnetic door contact for the door close sensor, another one for the door open sensor, and then some miscellaneous uh, hardware like jumpers, terminals, case, and everything like that. But that's it. So now let's have a look at the ESP Home configuration. So go to the ESP Home add on, add a new device that will be named Garage Door. Pick your specific board. On my side, it's the Node MCU. And then you can directly pass the configuration which is available in the description below. So if we have a small overview of that configuration, so at the top here we have the basic stuff about Wi-Fi and everything. But if we go into the main subject, so here we have the switch that will trigger the garage door opener. Each time it's triggered, it will be turned on and off after a small delay. So the garage door is jam sensor is the one that we'll be using to let Home Assistant know that there is currently a problem with the, the door. The garage door is open sensor is optional. This one I'm using it in Alarmo and some other automation that doesn't really like covers. Here we have the sensors that are wired with the magnetic sensor. So we have the one plug and the one for the closed sensor, which is in lane like the garage door state operation and also the is jam sensors. Same thing for is open, which is wired on D2. It's also supporting states, current operation and flagging if the door is jammed or not. Then we have the cover that always do the same actions, so it only trigger the relay like this. So once set up as you want, you can save and install it. On my side, I will do it wirelessly, but if you need, you can plug it directly in your computer or on the uh, server which is running Home Assistant. So once done, your garage door sure should happen online here. So for the hardware, I will take that project box with this for the cables. I will then put the node MCU in it the relay, and some terminals. Again, this is more like a temporary solution, like the time that I work with other devices that I want to integrate to the garage, but still it will be clean enough for now. So let's start by drilling some holes. So now that we have our case, we'll be able to start the wiring. First, Let's get the power here. So then we will need two cables here. The first one will be used to trigger the door of the garage. The second one will be a longer cable. This is a cable that will be used for the door open and the door close sensor. So it has four different wires. We'll use three of them. So one will be the common, one will be the for the closed sensor and the other one will be for the open sensor. Now let's connect everything together. So we'll take the ground to the node MCU and the relay, but we'll also use it at the command for the door sensors. We'll bring the 5 volt directly to the relay, but to the V in pin of the node MCU. We'll also plug the relay to D5 and the door close sensor to D1 and door open sensor to D2 of the node MCU. Once done, it's time to close the box. So on my side to install it, I will just glue some magnets on the back and put it directly onto the door opener. Okay, so this is a dumb garage door that we want to add a brain to it. So let's just take a brain, stack it on the side, about there. Let's plug it. 
and then we can open the security door. Uh, my model only have two sets of contacts. One is for the security that we have at the bottom of the gate, so if there is child or something, the gate will stop. And the other one is the one for the button, just on the other side of the door. So what we want to do is to connect the wire that we put to the relay in parallel with the other ones. So let's do this. Okay, so let's take our relay wires. Just put the, the top over here and finish right there. So we want basically to be in parallel with those white and uh, red right wires here. It's just and that's it for that. You can close it and that's it. Now we are ready to add our door close sensor. So let's just put that wire and bring it to the gate. So now the cable is ready for the connections, but keep in mind that we're using the same cable for the door open sensor. So I kept a loop near where I will cut it for the door open sensor. So now let's install the door close sensor. So what I will do is I will put that around there and the magnet will go directly on the top of the gate, the door here. And voila, that's it. Now the door is closed. Where is it there? The only thing that we still have to do on the hardware side is to fix or open door sensor. So for the door open sensor, I will be reusing that magnet trigger, that magnetic contact that will be waiting right there. I will just put a piece of wood or something here, so just to, to fill the gap. And then I will bring my wire that I kept a loop, just cut it there and plug everything right there. That's right. So now this is how it looks like. So let's just open the gate to be sure that everything goes well. So every time the door is open, it will read that magnet sensor and let the home assistant know that the door is fully open. Now that everything is ready, we can go in home assistant and add our new device. So if we go in integration here, home assistant already found the garage door, so you can configure it. So you just copy your encryption key here and submit. So now we have the garage door. I will just set the right area, finish. And if we have a look, so we have one device with three different uh, entities. First one is the garage door cover. Second one is the garage door is jammed and the garage door is open. The first time you boot, they won't know which states they are. So you will have maybe like to open it. We know that it's open. We have the state which is opening. And once it will be totally open, we'll see the state change here. And voila, we can close it. And we also saw that the garage door is, uh, is jam got updated as soon as the door was open. So if I open it and stop it, after a few seconds, I should see the garage door is jam turning on like this. So then I can just close it and it become okay again. So let's go into our dashboard. I will be using the mushroom cover card for this. Add the buttons here and save. And that's it. I'm running a lot of automation related to my garage door opener. So if you want more information on that, please comment below. In the meantime, if you like that project, please subscribe and click the bell right below so you will be notified for the next ones. See you soon. Second time.